it's Elizabeth Tannis of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're going to do a full day of lazy keto eating. And what do I eat on lazy keto and easy keto? Coming up next. Hey guys, it's Elizabeth, Countess of Low Carb, and on this episode, I'm going to show you a full day of what do I eat on Lazy Keto and Easy Keto. So first and foremost, I've missed you guys. Some of y'all know, but some of you may not know, um, my daughter did end up passing, and that was why I had taken some time off of YouTube, was to grieve with our family. I'll have other videos on that later, but on today's video, I want to show you my full day of Lazy Keto eating. Now that I'm not pregnant, what am I eating on keto to get back in the saddle, having lost 67 pounds? through 18 months of doing keto prior to my pregnancy. I am back with vengeance uh, on the keto lifestyle and a full day of lazy keto and easy keto eating. Also on this video, I am so excited to share with you guys my amazing keto crock pot vegetable soup recipe. It's only 4.5 net carbs for the full two cups of soup. It's delicious. That'll be coming up later, but special thank you to Western Orange Premium Crock-Pot Liners for sponsoring this video and helping me be able to share my vegetable keto crock-pot recipe. More on that later, but let me show you what I ate today. So the first thing that I had was some Bulletproof Coffee. In this video, I'm going back to old school basics for me of how I originally lost my weight um, prior to my keto pregnancy. And so I'm getting back to having Bulletproof coffee, which for me was simply one tablespoon of coconut oil mixed with some Starbucks coffee. I will put the uh, what I used down in the description link below. I used an awesome blender. It was like six bucks, five bucks. It makes for a great stocking stuffer. Um, and mix that up. And then that kept me satiated for several hours. I will also put this in the description link below. I love using this. It's, it was like six bucks on Amazon and well worth the six bucks. And I've had it for, I don't know, six months. It was well worth the cost in my pink flamingo. So I had my Bulletproof coffee. Then the next thing I started making to put in a crock pot early in the morning so it could like soak, not soak, but you know, cook for several hours was my keto vegetable soup. It was only 4.5 net carbs for a full bowl of soup that was so filling. Even the count said it tasted good. And y'all know me, I cook like the Sesame Street chef. So where royal weight loss meets real life. This recipe is easy to do. If you're craving a vegetable soup recipe, which I was, I was wanting after Thanksgiving, just some vegetables. <laughs> and so it's really good. It's only 4.5 net carbs. and also obviously with keto being high fat, moderate protein, low carb, this fits into the high fat, um, low carb component. There's no protein, but you absolutely could add meat to this recipe that I'm using. But basically what it is, is I'm using my Western Orange Crock-Pot Liner. I love these Crock-Pot Liners because you can throw them away and not have to scrub your Crock-Pot and clean them. Hello, busy mom here, where Royal Weight Loss meets real life. Um, and you can just dump everything in and then take the liner out and throw it out when you're done with it. I don't do it every time I use my crock pot, but whenever I'm busy, this is a great mom hack <laughs> to not have to clean up and scrub my crock pot for using like my egg sausage casserole for my Indian curry crock pot recipe, um, keto crock pot recipes that I have. I have tons of other keto crock pot recipes that this easily could be used for. For this recipe, I used five tablespoons of olive oil, 
you could substitute in walnut oil, um, avocado oil. I'll put those in the description link below if you're getting sick of having like olive oil. And you could even make it go to six tablespoons of olive oil. Next time I do this recipe, I will bump it up. Then I used four cups of bone broth. I use organic turkey bone broth that I got from Aldi from one of my Aldi hauls, but you could use whatever, homemade bone broth, like whatever you've got. If it's chicken bone broth, beef bone broth, whatever you've got four cups of it and then I will put down in the description link below the full recipe one full cup of cut radishes I actually next time might even use more radishes because it was so good with the radishes I really really liked it and probably would want more and then mix it in there um, together the entire pot of all of that and again I'll put it in the description link below the actual recipe was 24 net carbs how I figured that out is I total up everything and then I divide out how many servings I got for that portion size six servings which is basically like two cups per serving totaled out to 4.5 net carbs for my calculations obviously I encourage people to do your due diligence and do your own math that's what I got for my calculations if you substitute something in or if you don't have something great make this recipe your own it's a great building block if you want to add meat into it if you have leftover say turkey from Thanksgiving add that in there um like add in what if you have leftover hamburger throw that in there to make it a, a moderate protein to make it more ketified um but this was an easy keto recipe an easy keto meal you could have this for an easy keto lunch lunch or an easy keto dinner I just like lazy keto like this is totally lazy keto dump it in the crock pot let it sit there I did it on six hours on low heat you could do it less time than that you could do it more time than that if you have meat you would probably want to do it low time but I just used straight vegetables in it it was so good and the high fat portion of it came through the olive oil again I probably would add one more tablespoon because I did have six servings of it so then each serving would have one tablespoon of fat to be included in it to making it simple this recipe um, I did not try freezing it but I'm going to freeze my leftovers we had it for lunch and we had it for dinner and it was awesome Of the recipe I simply added one tablespoon of heavy cream to it to make it a little bit thicker oh mwah, it was delicious my spices that I used was one tablespoon of garlic powder and one tablespoon of Italian seasoning if, again use what you have if you have onion powder use that if you don't have Italian seasoning but you have basil use that like use whatever you've got to add a little bit of flavoring into it um, but adding the heavy cream at the very end like right before you serve it and then mix it together makes it a little bit thicker and again boosts up that fat on it that soup I had two cups of the soup which was one serving size which was 4.5 net carbs then I had five ounces of ham So I ended up having five ounces of ham. I did have to measure that out because I'm actively trying to lose more weight. For me, one of my weight loss dolls comes in having too much protein, which is why I measured out five ounces of ham. I'm almost six feet tall, so if you're shorter than that, obviously that may not be the serving size for you. So then I don't self be true and do what's best for you for your protein serving size, but that works well for my six feet tall body like this video make sure you click like make sure you click subscribe and put in the comments below keto crock pot so i know to do more videos just like this one Then I had another cup of the Bulletproof coffee just to stay satiated. It was one tablespoon of coconut oil, a splash of heavy cream in it. Before we went bowling, I wanted to have some extra fats pumped in so I was full. I'm bowling, so I'm bringing in a fourth a cup of macadamia nuts. Woohoo! Whoa, all the way up here. 
Yay, good job, baby. <laughs> that is awesome. Look at it go. So I'm surviving the bowling alley by not getting anything with my diet, Dr. Pepper. I normally don't like to drink sugar-free, but in lieu of the bowling alley, I want a little treat. I did end up having one-fourth a cup of macadamia nuts at the bowling alley. I didn't want to have like nachos and cheese poppers. And I did have a diet Dr. Pepper, which I know is the devil and I know it's poison, but I, I thought it was a better choice sometimes making best choices or better choices. The better choice was to have a diet Dr. Pepper as opposed to saying have like onion rings or french fries that my family had. So while I know diet soda for me can be a weight loss stall, um, the whole name of the game of losing weight per Dr. Fung is maintaining insulin level balance and a low insulin level balance. And I know that diet soda spiked my insulin, but it was a better choice than not having like jalapeno poppers. So we just got back from the bowling alley. Yes, I did have diet soda, which I know is poison, but it was better than eating french fries or jalapeno poppers. So I got that going for me. I'm exhausted. I'm really tired. It's only seven o'clock and I know that that's my body getting really back into ketosis. This is what's happening from not having been super, super strict keto now to being like strict lazy keto. It's like strict as you can be on lazy keto. Is that good? Mm -hmm. My little boy, you can hear him drinking his fizzy water in the background. But I'm gonna go up to bed, have some Pellegrino before I go to bed. Um, and hoping that the fizzy bubbles will make my stomach feel better. My little boy's having this. I'm not having this because the flavoring. I'm just having plain. So there you go. For full disclosure, I was so hungry. By the end of the night, I was really, really hungry. This means I'm getting into ketosis. Um, for me, I just sleep it off. So I went to bed at 7 o'clock last night um, just to get some rest um, and to sleep it off. I literally did call my husband in as my lifeline because um, I was so hungry and I wanted to eat. And he's like, no, just go to bed. So I literally had Pellegrino, a whole bunch of Pellegrino, and I went to bed. So <laughs> that's full disclosure of uh, to lose weight, you, sometimes you're hungry. And uh, keto does fill me up, but I definitely was hungry going to bed last night. Like this video make sure you click like make sure you click subscribe and check out the royal weight loss course that i have down in the description link below and also put keto crock pot in the comments so i know to do more videos just like this one make it a powerful day